Talks with Ramana Maharishi Talk 29 On one occasion the evening was calm and cloudy it was drizzling occasionally and somewhat cool in consequence the windows of the ashram hall were closed and maharishi was seated as usual on the sofa facing him sat the devotees some visitors had come from karlur a sub judge accompanied by two elderly ladies was among them the sub judge began the discussion as to the impermanence of all mundane things by asking the following question does the discrimination between reality and unreality sat asat vicharana have the efficacy in itself to lead us to the realization of the one imperishable maharshi as propounded by all and realized by all true seekers fixity in the supreme spirit brahmanishta alone can make us know and realize it it being of us and in us any amount of discrimination vivechana can lead us only one step forward by making us renouncers by goading us to discard the seeming as transitory and to hold fast to the eternal truth and presence alone next the conversation turned upon the question as to whether ishvara prasad divine grace is necessary for the attaining of samrajya universal dominion or whether a jeeva's honest and strenuous efforts to attain it cannot of themselves lead him to that from where there is no return to life and death the maharishi with an indescribable smile which lit up his holy face and which was all pervasive shining upon the devotees around him replied in tones of certainty and with the ring of truth divine grace is essential for realization it leads one to god realization but such grace is vouchsafed only to him who is a true devotee or a yogin who has striven hard and ceaselessly on the path towards freedom visitor there are six centers mentioned in the yoga books but the jiva the individual soul is said to reside in the heart is it not so maharshi yes the jiva is said to remain in the heart in deep sleep and in the brain in the waking state the heart need not be taken to be the muscular cavity with four chambers which propels blood there are indeed passages which support the view there are others who take it to mean a set of ganglia or nerve centers about that region whichever view is correct does not matter to us we are not concerned with anything less than ourselves that we have certainly within us there could be no doubts or discussions about that the heart is used in the vedas and the scriptures to denote the place from where the i notion springs does it spring only from the fleshy ball it springs within us somewhere right in the middle of our being the i has no location everything is the self there is nothing but that so the heart must be said to be the entire body of ourselves and of the entire universe conceived as i but to help the practitioner abhyasi 
we have to indicate a definite part of the universe or of the body. So this heart is pointed out as the seat of the self. But in truth, we are everywhere, we are all that is, and there is nothing else. Visitor It is said that divine grace is necessary to attain successful, undistracted mind. Samadhi. Is that so? Maharshi We are God, Ishvara. Ishvara Drishti, that is seeing ourselves as God, is itself divine grace. So we need divine grace to get God's grace. Saying thus, Maharishi smiles and all devotees laugh together. Visitor there is also divine favor, Ishvara Anugraham, as distinct from divine grace, Ishvara Prasadam. Is that so? Maharshi The thought of God is divine favor. He is by nature grace, Prasad or Arul. It is by God's grace that you think of God. Visitor is not the Master's grace the result of God's grace? Maharshi Why distinguish between the two? The Master is the same as God and not different from Him. Visitor When an endeavor is made to lead the right life and to concentrate thought on the self, there is often a downfall and break. What is to be done? Maharshi It will come all right in the end. There is the steady impulse of your determination that sets you on your feet again after every downfall and breakdown. Gradually the obstacles are all overcome and your current becomes stronger. Everything comes right in the end. Steady determination is what is required.